Welcome, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I am Chef B. If you're new here, welcome, Wagwan. So we are about to do a quick wig install. And the wig that we're installing is from Love Me Hair. Now this is their Ginger Ombre Silky Blunt Cut Bob Wig. And it is a glueless wig in 13 by four lace frontal. Like I had to show y'all how much the bob moves, okay? So this bob is already pre-bleached and all that good stuff for you, but I like it to look a little bit more natural in the front. So I am going to do a light plucking, like nothing crazy. Like we just need that little extra part in the front to be a little bit more natural. Now this is a ginger bob, and y'all know I'm a ginger girly right now. So this is perfect and I want it to look like it's actually mine. I wanna be fooling these people in the streets, you feel me? So we're just gonna do that light plucking. All the details for the wig will be in the description box for you down below. So now I'm just going to go in with this wax stick and I use a wax stick so that I could mold the hair in place and it also helps with the flyaway and let the wig look more professional. So even though you're doing it, you want it to look like, yeah, babe, I just came out of the salon with this unit and better yet, it looked like I just got a silk purse. So now to flat iron it here, it was really simple to flat iron the flat iron that I'm using, I got it from Amazon. And now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this lace tint mousse on the hair. All of this can be found in my Amazon storefront. If you need these extra stuff, you can get it there. So what happens is, is the mousse is a tint that is gonna look scalp-like and look a little bit more deeper brown to match my natural complexion. And then I take the blow dryer to dry that in. So it dries within less than a minute. You just keep the blow dryer on there, move it around and all that good stuff. So now I have these braid back cornrows that I did and I didn't feel like taking them out. And I'm like, it's already braided back. So I just put it in a little bun and then I'm going to wear the wig cap that I got in my package that you can also get on the website at lovemehair.com. So I'm just going to adjust the band of the wig in the back so that the wig is nice and snug on my head. You already know how to typical we install these units. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess lace because it's a little bit far down and I'm already wearing makeup and my lashes. And I don't want get, to get the lashes in the way with the lace so we cut that extra stuff off and then we're gonna cut around the air just to make sure that it's laying though like y'all can see like this wig can already be worn glueless if i want to just cut off the extra lace it's lying flat so i'm gonna do a zigzag motion um to cut the lace now the wig is one size just a couple of inches a little small for my head it could be because of the bun that i have in the back but um it's too late we already came this far so i'm just gonna use um this got to be this little one that i already have and i'm just going to apply the lace spray lightly um around the perimeter of um the frontal and then I'm going to lay it down and then use a blow dryer to dry that in place and it dries within seconds so you can use whatever lace spray you have and whatnot now we're gonna do a little bit of edges just to cover um the front of my hair just a little bit like I said it's a little like a tiny bit um snug or fit a little smaller because of the bun in the back but um, yeah, so we're just gonna do a little soupy de soup situation. And then I wanna layer the front because I like the hair to be layered to frame my face. It just gives it a more um, defined look. It gives it more of a It just gives the wig an extra edge when it has that little bang in the front. And then now we're gonna go in with some bronzing powder and this is going to help um, clean up my parting space and also to help it to look a little bit more scalp like and this wig was so easy to put on love in the color so if you want to be a ginger like me but you don't want to commit to the color change i got the wig for you this is the wig for you sis okay let me know what you guys think about this unit all the details will be down below for you yeah i'm testing out the stiffness of this bob stiff wear okay she moves I love y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all major platforms at damn.shep. Again, all the details is down below for you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys.